everybody what is going on so uh yeah today there was a new trailer that's been dropped for birds of prey and the fantabulous masturbation thing of harley quinn yeah that that title that's a mouthful and while i don't normally do trailer reactions uh because eh, i don't know it's just not my thing but yeah being a really big dc fan and particularly a really big fan of harley quinn which is why i now have a life-size cutout of her in my backdrop and i guess it's probably an appropriate time to be revealing this as well yeah i kind of figured this was something to talk about because uh yeah i've got a few things to say about this trailer like i've, I've seen a few trailer reactions and stuff and a lot of people are saying oh my god this looks looks terrible this looks like a mess it looks like dc have once again dropped the ball and marvel are just going <laughs> we're better than you and i'm not going to do that thing that people do which in all respect to those people who do that uh where i sit here and watch the trailer because me watching a trailer is just the most boring thing on the planet if you do however want to see what that looks like uh i will give you a brief moment where you can just pause it you can like have the trailer playing next to it and this is basically what i would look like So there you go, just pause that for two minutes and that's what it looks like. So look, when I first saw this trailer, uh, I was a bit mixed about it. Like, it does look like kind of a mess. And this is coming from me who I am a really big DC fan. Like as much as I love the MCU, uh, my heart has always been with DC. Like ever since I was a little kid, you know, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, all those characters were the ones that I grew up with. When the Batman animated series came out in the 90s and Harley Quinn was first introduced as a character, I just loved her character so freaking much. Uh, I just thought she was so unique and different and interesting. When Suicide Squad came out, uh, look, I mean, like, I liked that movie. I didn't love it, but I liked it. And one of the things for me that really stood out was Margot Robbie's portrayal of Harley Quinn. I thought she nailed the character so perfectly well. So I just wanted to get all that out of the way before the comment section gets filled with people going, oh, you're just a DC fanboy. Yeah. I am. I will admit that I do have a bias towards these movies. Uh, I mean, mainly because I see things in them that maybe a lot of other people don't. Like, I know they have their flaws. They definitely do. But, you know, for me, seeing these characters come to life that I have loved since I was a kid, like, I, I can't help but being a little bit biased. So as far as things that I liked about this trailer, um, I mean, look, one of the things people are complaining about is that it's too colourful, but... I don't know, I kind of dig it. I kind of like the look of the production design in this movie. Uh, one of the things that I didn't like at first when I saw the pictures of Harley Quinn for Suicide Squad was that they had you know, changed her outfit so drastically. But in the context of the movie, I thought it really worked. And one thing that you've got to keep in mind is that these are a new take on the characters. These are the film versions. I mean, I guess that's one of the big differences between Marvel and DC is that Marvel, for the most part, tend to really capture the comic book versions of those characters, whereas uh, a lot of the DC stuff, you know, they're just making it their own. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I like that we're getting some lesser known characters, which <laughs> I guess a lot of the DC stuff are lesser known characters. I mean, Marvel's got the advantage there being that, you know, they're up to like 500 movies or whatever now. Yeah, I'm exaggerating. But I mean, let's face it, before 2014, Groot, who'd ever heard of Groot before? And now Groot is a household name. So, you know, DC, they've got some catching up to do, but I like that we've got Black Canary, who is a character that I've loved for a long time. Huntress, who I absolutely adore. Renee Montoya is a great character as well. You know, we've got all these characters in here that people are just looking at this trailer and going, who? Like even my buddy Jared Buckendall was saying like how weird it was that Harley Quinn had a hyena in there but whereas you know us hardcore DC fans were like yay she's got a hyena woohoo I like the design of the sets in this. Uh, Black Mask's club looks really cool. I like that shot from behind Black Canary singing on the stage where you've got those hands with the eyes. Like That looks really cool. I like uh, Amusement Mile or you know the fun house that Harley Quinn and everyone are in for some big action scene, I'm guessing maybe later on in the film. Uh, yeah, I thought that looked really cool. And even though the tone in this trailer 
like at first it does look like it's kind of all over the place I've, like I've watched it a few times now and I don't know it, it actually sits better with me now upon subsequent viewings like this trailer the, the movie it does look kind of violent it does look kind of dark even though it is bright and colorful it does have this kind of like a morbid depression about it uh yeah so i think it could work like that's the thing with this trailer like the movie to me even though at the moment i'm not completely sold it looks like it does have potential to be good i kind of like that they didn't show ewan mcgregor with the with the mask as black mask uh i think yeah that's probably something that and again you know a lot of people are like oh where's his mask but yeah you know let's reveal that a bit later on and i am so happy to see mr zars in this film which yeah a lot of people are like who the hell's Mr. Zars? He's one of my most favorite Batman villains. Uh, this guy, he's just this brutal serial killer who every time he kills someone, he scars himself with a tally mark. Like his body is just covered in hundreds of tally marks. Like this guy is a really nasty, hardcore serial killer. And the fact that he's in this movie uh, looks like he's working with Black Mask, like that's got me excited. And another really big complaint that people have, which I get where they're coming from, is that that this trailer looks like it's just Harley Quinn and friends. But you gotta keep in mind, you know, like I said, no one knows who these characters are. Well, you know, when I say no one, like, yeah, not many people. And so, A, of course they're gonna market this trailer with Harley Quinn because that's the character that movie-going audiences know from Suicide Squad. And B, I mean, the title is Birds of Prey and the... of Harley Quinn. Like, it even has her name in the title. So, uh, you know, you have gotta expect that it is gonna be Harley Quinn heavy. Plus, Margot Robbie's producing the film, so there's a lot of reasons why she's probably front and center, but I don't think the movie itself is going to be as Harley Quinn heavy as the trailer is making it out to be. So yeah, look, overall, like I said, the trailer does seem a bit of a mess. Uh, I think the music probably didn't really suit it. Um, and yeah, there are a lot of questions that it's raising, but overall, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I, I'm still, I'm still looking forward to the film. Uh, the trailer didn't heighten how much I'm looking forward to seeing the film. Um, but yeah, look, I don't think the trailer is that bad. All right, so that's my thoughts on the Birds of Prey and the <laughs> of Harley Quinn trailer. Uh, so let me know what you guys thought. I mean, yeah, look, like I said, I know there's a lot of people who absolutely hate this trailer and that is totally cool. Uh, hopefully when the movie comes out, you know, yeah, those people might watch it and go, yeah, that wasn't too bad. But yeah, it's a DC film. That's probably not going to happen. So let me know what you thought of the trailer. Drop me some comments either here, Facebook or Twitter. All the social media links are in the description below because I like to talk about trailers and I'd love to talk about trailers with you. Catch you next time. Click subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest movie reviews. Skynet will be taking over any day now. So what have you got to lose? No.